team that's been uh, gathered to be at the World Equestrian Games is really probably going to be the uh, one of the top teams of veterinarians that's been assembled in, in quite a long time. There's going to be <clears throat> initially a quarantine <clears throat> area that's set up uh, principally at the Northern Kentucky Airport. A lot of horses will fly in from Europe, Asia, Russia, uh, that region and quarantine there for 48 hours. There will be a quarantine center in Los Angeles and another one in Miami for South American and uh, tropic horses uh, to fly into and then um, all of those horses will arrive. They'll come to the horse park uh, arriving in September. I think the uh, fifth is the first day or six is the first day that we start getting a little bit of import and um, at that stage we'll have a hospital set up there which will have multiple diagnostic capabilities. Um, it will have ultrasound, radiography, um, ability to do telemedicine from that area and we'll also have <clears throat> in-barn veterinarians and then every team will have a team veterinarian that will come with them uh, who will work really closely with to assist in providing any of the care that we can. We'll have uh, multiple e equine transport ambulances present uh, in all the warm-up areas at all the competition rings. And on the daily basis, every ring will have a veterinarian present. Um, every, the barn will have a couple of veterinarians present in trucks, and then we'll have this hospital that's set up. We then have three really um, demanding days as far as veterinary involvement goes. That would be the three-day eventing cross-country day, the uh, endurance ride, which is a hundred mile ride, and then the combined driving endurance day. Uh, those three days for the endurance ride we have uh, a small separate recovery uh, tent that's set up for horses that have issues out on the course uh, or are withdrawn from the competition and have metabolic issues so that they can be treated immediately right where uh, things are occurring there. They can receive fluid therapy. There will be a full uh, laboratory uh, that can run electrolytes and blood samples uh, so we can do immediate analysis right there. Um, and there will be a team of around uh, 18 treating veterinarians who will be placed out on the endurance ride course and shifts. Uh, following the group as it goes through its 100 mile ride and we'll be stationed back at that recovery area and then back at the barns as the horses uh, go back there. There are also uh, beyond the treating veterinarians that we have for this competition, the individuals that are uh, there to assist the team veterinarians and provide emergency care or any care that's required for the horses and the team veterinarians which each uh, team brings with them, there are then FEI veterinarians who work more in a uh, advisory and observatory method to make sure that the welfare of the horse is being cared for in utmost uh, manners. Uh, and sort of as a branch of the FEI veterinary side, we have drug testing veterinarians that'll be there uh, collecting drug samples or samples of urine and, and blood to detect uh, performance enhancing medications. Mm -hmm. uh, or to be honest, any medication at all because any horse that competes in an FEI competition uh, can't be on any form of medication whatsoever. What my job has been is to help organize under Ken Allen who's in charge of providing all the veterinary care and setting it all up for the World Equestrian Games has been to help uh, organize all the treating veterinarians, uh, making sure that we have all the supplies that we need, making sure that we have the appropriate schedules that we need, uh, that everybody leading up in the year prior to the World Equestrian Games uh, at each of the test events that I've had everybody at these test events that can uh, get um, exposure, more exposure, that our teams are really working well and make sure that the problems are there and then during the World Equestrian Games I'll be one of the treating vets and uh, kind of overseeing making sure everything's functioning well uh, in, in that market underneath Kent. Mm -hmm. Thank you.